When you plant a seed into the earth, you feed it, water it and nurture it in the hope that one day it will grow into a strong and fruitful plant. This same concept can be applied to an event which happened just over a hundred years ago in the small, relatively unknown area of Qadian in India, where the promised Messiah salam, planted the seed of the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam. But in the case of this event, there was one important exception. The Prophet salam, did not plant the seed in hope. He planted it with firm conviction and absolute certainty that it would grow and flourish. He had the word of Allah Almighty Himself who had revealed to him that he would cause his message to reach the corners of the earth. Today, we see that that small seed planted some 100 years ago has transformed itself into a movement nurtured by the hands of Allah the Almighty that has captured the hearts and minds of millions through love and humility. So as members of this blessed community, we have to ask ourselves why we are an Ahmadi Muslim. What are the core values of Ahmadiyyat and why have we accepted the Prophet Messiah as a Prophet of God? Because it is only after we have done this critical evaluation that we can really call ourselves a true Ahmadi Muslim. Why have you become Ahmadis? Why have you left your family? Why have you left your old religion? What benefit did you get? If you have not become a better human being, if you have not become a better husband, or a better wife, or a better citizen, if you have not become a more peaceful person, in your business, in your dealing with people, then what is the use of becoming an Ahmadi? Why should you lose your family and all your tribe and everything and people laugh at you and joke at you and persecute you and they hate you and then you don't get any, any benefit? If you have become an Ahmadi, there must be a change in you. You must have a relationship with God the Almighty. You must find out that have you become a better person? Each night you sleep, you should think for two minutes, have I become a better human being? Does God listen to my prayers? That is the criteria, these are the credentials which will show you whether you made a right choice or not. So today, to find out the answers to these questions and much more, we've come to the Ahmadiyya Peace Village in Toronto, Canada to take a listen to the word on the street. We have somebody to follow, we have somebody to guide us, we trust him and we know that we listen and we obey. The Ahmadis are basically the, the role models of our society today. They, they are the best among the best. Like the way they are dressed, the way they're supposed to act, their attitude, everything like that is supposed to be, they're supposed to be role models for the, for the future generations as well as the present. It's in the news and media and stuff that like uh, terrorism, but like people think that we're terrorists as well because we're Muslims, but we don't have that title on us because we're Ahmadis and we're apart from all the other Muslims. I feel lucky to be an Ahmadi Muslim because I have a, I have a Khalifa to guide me to the right path, so I learn good things, not bad things. To be a Muslim in this day and age would practically mean to believe in the Messiah for, of the latter days, uh, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad al-Islam. How that makes us different is because uh, the Holy Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad wasallam himself said that whoever does not recognize the Imam of the time dies the death of ignorance. So we the Muslims, we adhere to the call of that promised Messiah. I feel lucky and proud to be an Ahmadi because this is where you find that true connection with God and the true spirituality. I don't have to think in ignorance. I have the guidance, I have the Hidayah from God the Almighty that He gave to His promised Messiah which has directly connected me 
to the teachings of Holy Prophet وسلم, 14 centuries ago. I feel lucky to be an MD because of the brotherhood and uh, you feel more spiritual like you are when you guys are together uh, you go to justice and stuff the the bond we have between each other is much stronger than the bond bond we have with anybody outside of our society right i believe that uh, in our day and time uh, in this day and age the best example or the the model uh, that we have for us is uh, our beloved imam and uh, the amazing and the beautiful thing about our beloved imam is that he has that charisma and that awe-inspiring spiritual prowess that gathers everybody together. It's like a it's like a unifying glue that you know just attracts everybody. It's like it's a magnetic power, and uh, that is why I strongly believe that I am an Ahmadi.